Hey guys, welcome to this video and I'm going to show you how to create this image uh, gallery and as you can see I can slide over the thumbnails to change the images you can also um, go click on the previous and next buttons and I can click on the uh, play button and it'll automatically start playing but I set the um, slideshow to go a bit quickly in this one but you can change the amount of uh, the interval durations between each slide and um, so this is the npm package that we're using. It's called React Image Gallery. Um, here, I'm just going to go over the documentation a little bit. Uh, I'm not going to go over everything, but um, I will just kind of give a broad summary of what this uh, npm package does. So let's go to our um, let's go. I'm going to go to Code Sandbox, create a new app. Then I'm going to use this, instead of doing npm install React Image Gallery, I'm just going to find the dependencies. That's React Image Gallery. Copy and paste that right here. You should find it, this one right here. And we're going to get the, to get the example code going, we can just copy and paste this. And I'm just gonna paste it down here for a second. So we have to import import the uh, image gallery npm package and then I'm going to create the image um, the image array with the um, images the original sizes and the thumbnail sizes so this one is the um, 1000 by 600 pixel image and this one is a 250 by 150 image um, pixel image and then I have to use yeah um go ahead and copy and paste this part image gallery um uh, the div the um, component and i'm going to paste it right here and i'm going to delete this that should work and then last of all we have to import the css so if we go back here we have to import the css as is right here so all we have to do is copy and paste this And go to the top and do import. So this is um, getting it straight from the node uh, npm package. So if we, um, if I go to, this is a, I already this is on in VS Code, not Code Sandbox. But if we install the npm package, we can go to in React Image Gallery, and so it's under Node Modules, and we can go to React Image Gallery, and then Styles. CS, there's a SCSS version and CSS version. You can choose which, whichever one you want. I'm just going to go with the CSS version. So there's this file here. So that's what it's referencing. So let's uh, do that. And it's going to be this right here. So there you go. So now we have the default working. So we have the play button. And then it starts playing a little bit. Um, it's every three or four seconds. Let's stop that, we can make it full screen. Um, I guess that's not gonna work in the code sandbox, but we can open it a new browser and then go full screen here. And then we can click on each of the individual buttons and I'm just gonna get rid of the semicolon. So that's in a nutshell how that works. I'm just gonna go over a few of the um, uh, things that we can do, we can we can do um, we can choose if we want to see the show play button. So we can do show play button, and we can set that to false. That will remove the play button. We can do show full screen button, and we can also do that false and that removes the button that was right here and we can do set uh, slide slide interval and let's set it to 1000 so it's pretty fast in between and now we have to just bring back the play button play it's pretty, going to be pretty fast one second each between each uh, slide uh, transition then to hover over the image and make the slide show the transition to that um, slide, it, we just have to do um, slide 
on the thumbnail. True. Now it should work. Now we can just slide over. I'm not clicking. I'm just sliding over the hovering over the images on the thumbnails and it's clicking, uh, working properly. And then show index is going to be this, the number of the um, slideshow the slideshow uh, number. So we're on number one, number three, number two, number three. That's how that works. And you can see you can uh, check out all of these here um for example show full screen button is right here um show play button is right here so we set it to true or false and you can all you can set all these um functions down here uh you can read through them depending on what you need and then uh we can go down all the way to here it says functions the following function can be accessed by refs so i'm just going to implement play so we're going to create a button instead of using this button here i'm going to create it oh and then one more i guess we can do we can also implement functions so on play we can say alert slideshow is now playing so now if we start playing there's an alert and it says slideshow is not playing and then it starts playing again i'm going to pause that and then to implement the functions uh, here, I'm just going to create a ref. So I have to go to the top and say import use ref from React, our friendly React. And then I'm going to go down here and add in a ref so i'm going to call it play the slides i'm just going to call it slideshow slideshow ref and then here i'm going to create a const and i'm going to say um slideshow uh slide show ref is equal to use ref that should make that connection between the ref and this um, variable and then we're going to create a button at the very bottom button oops. let's name it play and on click we're going to run a function called Play slides, and we're going to create a function called play slides, and we're going to say uh, slide show ref dot current dot play, and that should play the button when we click on this play button. So now, so now if I click play, it says slideshow is not playing, and it starts playing the slideshow all over again. So that's how you uh, use the React Image Gallery NPM package to create a very basic slideshow. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.